It's just really lovely to see people, <laughs> you know, we've uh, spent so much time staring at computer screens and to be able to travel on our first trade mission and to see all of you, uh, I just want to say a big thank you. This book uh, is ref actually really a great reflection of um, why on our first trade mission uh, to outside of uh, British Columbia, outside of North America, that we've come here. And uh, the relationship that we have with the Netherlands, it's, uh, it's a bond, I think, that goes beyond what it can be explained. Uh, and, uh, and certainly um, everyone from the Netherlands is close to our hearts in British Columbia for many reasons. And I know the Premier came uh, a few years back and uh, got a chance to uh, visit the memorials and, uh, and visit um, uh, with folks here and it's still close to his heart. He talks about it all the time. So maybe I'm following his footsteps to get the opportunity to come here as well. Uh, I just uh, wanted to start, start by saying thank you to Julie and for everyone for organizing this. Um, you know, the, I think the say the last few years have been challenging is that an understatement, and they've been challenging for everyone. But in particular in BC, not only have we been dealing with a pandemic, uh, we're fortunate in British Columbia. Uh, we uh, have a population that's 93.8% vaccinated, uh, double vaccinated, and we were very lucky in that we were able to keep our um, business operating all the way through the pandemic. We had very limited uh, shutdowns. We kept schools open the entire way. Um, and that's why we're leading the country in our economic recovery right now. Uh, and we have been throughout the entire pandemic. But we've also been dealing with some other challenges, uh, which is uh, climate change. We have had the three of the worst fire seasons in British Columbia's history. But we also had two of the worst floods in BC's history. So not only are we dealing with the pandemic, we're actually dealing with climate change. If it's not coming, it's here. And, uh, and I think all those challenges are being felt here uh, as well. So uh, the, the, the things we're trying, the innovation we're trying to adopt to address those challenges are the same innovations that all of you are looking to uh, use to address the challenges you face here. Um, we have uh, a particular focus on agritech on this trip uh, because we think there's huge opportunities. California, which is a major food producer for certainly the west coast of North America, is projecting to lose one million acres of, uh, of farmable land within the next 10 years. Uh, that is going to have a significant impact on not only uh, food supply in North America, but it's going to have impacts on the world. And so for British Columbia, we're very uh, lucky uh, in the sense that uh, we have a, a dedicated land reserve for agriculture. But we also have a real challenge and opportunity ahead of us in that we want to be able to produce the food not only for British Columbia but for, for many parts of the world. And we, because of our abundance of land, abundance of water, we haven't driven the innovation in our system the way that we needed to. And so we're really looking to change that and, uh, and adopt learnings in particular from the companies here, many of represented in this room, uh, to be able to help our farming community not only uh, become more effective and efficient in their operations, but find new ways to uh, ensure that we can replace the food that's gonna be disrupted in the supply chains by California. Uh, we're also, uh, of course, um, really proud of our ESG advantage. I know ESG is a very complex conversation, uh, as I've been hearing here, um, especially in the European Union. Uh, many jurisdictions have uh, varying opinions of what that means. But I just want to leave with all of you that uh, we value that in British Columbia. We uh, have a climate plan, which I have my deputy, Bobby Plekis, with me, who uh, is, uh, was uh, one of the creators of our, economic, of our climate plan, which is one of the leading plans in North America. Uh, most often, the, most jurisdictions in North America, they look to us to do the hard stuff so that it becomes a little easier for other jurisdictions to do this. Uh, I was uh, laughing uh, yesterday that I never thought I'd be saying at a business launch that uh, Greenpeace was founded in Vancouver. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but, but it's true, uh, and it reflects our population. Uh, they want to see the highest level of environmental sustainability, uh, and, and that has driven us as a government to move the metrics, push our industry to uh, new levels, which means that we're producing some of the most sustainable products in the world. Uh, we're fortunate that we have 98.5% of our electricity comes from hydroelectricity, so clean uh, electricity. So all the products by nature are already at the highest standards. Um, and now, for us to reach the next steps, we are doing the hard stuff.
and looking at our uh, looking at our supply chains, looking at how we uh, transition our heavy duty industry to cleaner fuels. Uh, hydrogen is a huge opportunity for us because of our um, uh, clean electricity. So we're uh, really keen to advance that. I look forward to meeting with the port. I know there's lots of interesting things happening here with hydrogen and uh, in uh, in greening up the uh, the operations. Uh, and, and so, but key to us coming out of the pandemic is that we know that there's uh, real shifts happening in the world. Uh, I don't need to tell people here about Ukraine. Everyone in, in Canada and in North America is watching what's happening in Ukraine. And it's reminded us that our partnerships with countries that have the same values uh, is gonna be vitally important as we go forward. So uh, for us, uh, when we were able to travel, we wanted to come here to not only to hear from you and learn from you, but also to tell you that uh, the, the partnership and the bond that we have between our nations is vitally important. And as we go into these challenging times and years ahead, it's going to be more important that we lean on each other and, uh, and find ways to partner and move forward and grow together. Uh, and there's a shift happening, and, and this shift that we're happening uh, with Netherlands, I think it's going to be an important one for for us. So I'm not going to talk more, but I just want to say a big thank you for all of you to be here. I look forward to, to meeting with those that I haven't had a chance to say hello to. Uh, and uh, and I hope this is a, just another step in our relationship and, uh, and be able to build uh, more uh, opportunities as we go forward. So, so thank you so much. Thank you, Julie, and thank you for the book. I've got many plane rides in the next few days, so I will be reading <laughs> that along the way. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.